Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I'm Garen Reaver. This time I'm showing you an interface change in more depth. This is not enough items. Uh, not enough items is a nice amalgamation of too many items and the recipe book mod. And the way this works is it is here in your inventory. And the too many items part is this massive grid that you can scroll through of everything in the game. And the recipe book part is something I'm going to be coming on to. So it's a rather complicated mod, but when you get to know it, it's very easy and extremely useful. So, first of all, down at the bottom left is this options. And right here at the top it says NEI, not enough items, global options. And if you click this, it shows world options. And what this is, is global options are the generic, basic, sort of default options when you start a new world. Whereas the world options are specific to each save game. So as you can see, NEI is enabled. On this one, it is in cheat mode. Drops exist, all of this. Whereas on a survival world, I'd have NEI enabled, but that would be on a different mode. It allows you to change it up so you don't have to continuously edit the settings whenever you swap to a different world. Another thing worth noting is that the world options override the global options. So as you can see, NEI is enabled here. But if I disable it on global, it's still there. Whereas if I go in and disable it on that, it vanishes. The next option is the mode. And there are three to choose from cheat, recipe, and utility. And cheat is the one here. It has all of this, these, and if you click on something, left click, you get a full stack of it. Right click, you just get one. And it's cheating because it allows you to get anything. And this is a more intuitive version of the creative menu, discounting the one from 1.4, which is obviously not implemented yet. The other things you can do in this are up here. There are little buttons that allow you to change things. It says turn delete mode on and off. And this button has two purposes. Obviously you can turn delete mode on, which means that if you click on an item, it will be deleted from your inventory. But if you turn it off, you can still click and drag into the bin, at which point it says delete bronze chest plate, and then you can delete it. Next is this toggle rain button. When rain is on, this will highlight blue. There you go. Depending on what biome you're in, it will cause weather. So I'm in a frozen biome so it's snowing in the desert, it'll just darken the sky, etc. The next thing is this, you can turn creativity mode on so I can fly, or there is this, creativity plus, and although this seems to have selected advantages, for some reason they don't seem to show in, in this one. Apparently they're supposed to do something like give you a proper inventory screen as you get in 1.4 and allow you to equip things. But I don't know whether it's just a bug with my version or with what, but I, I can't do anything different with Creative Plus. Magnet mode is an interesting addition. And when it's you can turn it on and off and when it's on, any drops fly towards you throw it away and because magnet is on it is magnetized towards me and this happens with everything so if you destroy a block the drop flies towards you etc and then there are these they are set time to dawn noon dusk and midnight and they do as they say now I've pressed that it is dawn it is the first moment when the game counts it as dawn noon the sun is directly above. Dusk is when it's the sun is beginning to set. 
There you can hear the night sounds now. And midnight is when the moon is at the highest point. This final button is heal the player, and it's fairly self-explanatory. You press that, and your hunger and health bars will be completely refilled. If you're on fire, it'll put you out, and it'll heal any poison or negative ailments that are afflicting you. Next is this. It's a little save thing along the side. This is taken from too many items. It allows you to save what you have in your inventory, including armor, hotbar, quantities, etc. So if I save that as two, and I can load the tutorial, and it's got all my armor and my philosopher's stone, and then I have still have this one after the last tutorial I did. So you can rename these by right-clicking, you load them by left-clicking, and you right-click and allows you to come up with a name, like that, and then left-click off of it, and I can load that. You can also rename saves. To get rid of it, you just click this little X, and it wipes it, but it keeps the name. Another thing on cheap mode is that if you press X, it pulls up this enchanting menu, and you can drag any kind of thing that can be enchanted into this slot, choose the enchantment level, and these are the only two enchantments I can have, so I can select them, and I can get them up to level 10, so I can have self-repair and potency, and there I have a wooden battle axe with self-repair and potency. The next mode is recipe mode, and this is the most useful of them all. With this one, you can't summon things into your inventory. Instead, if you left-click or press R while hovering over something, it shows you the recipe to make it. Whereas if you right-click or press U over something, it shows you how it is used in recipes. So that's recipe and usage. And as you can see here, the red alloy wire can be combined with the stone wafer. And they have different options, so you can smelt it down in the same way if you can you can click on things in here, so there, and it shows you the recipe and how to make it. Press U on that and it shows all the recipes that use it. And you can use this to go backwards or forwards through any of these recipes and find out exactly what you need to make the more complex machines. The last trick that recipe mode has up its sleeve is when you're on a recipe of something that you can currently make, for example in your inventory anything that only requires a 2x2 two two grid, you can click this little question mark and it shows you the exact layout you need. If it's a complicated thing like this one, it allows you to get the exact layout without having to memorize it. The next mode is utility mode and this is a mix of cheat and recipe. As you can see you can't save inventories and the majority of the magic buttons here are gone, it just leaves magnet and delete. And if you click on one of these it'll give you the recipe rather than placing it in your inventory. Continuing on with the options, there is the Minecraft layout button. And this it's a toggle between Minecraft and old TMI. And it's just the style of the button, so as you can see the buttons look just like the ones from the texture pack. If you install a texture pack it will take it from that instead. Whereas if you press that, it changes it to the way it used to look on TMI. It also changes the style of a couple of these buttons. This one is fairly self-explanatory. It allows you to show or hide the ID values of each thing. So as you can see that just says the name of what it is, the repeater. Whereas if I show it, it shows that it is item 2307 colon 268 and the thing after the colon is the damage value. So if you have damaged armor, like here, it shows that it is 4 damaged compared to this one which is undamaged. There are also things like the different woods which have damage values as they occupy the same ID. 
and you can show or hide it or auto which goes off the config settings and seems to be show for the most part. Real-time search enable or disable is this search bar at the bottom because this allows you to slim down what you want. I'll explain it in more detail soon. And see if I put hell that shows the two things with hell in the name, that's the shell and hell rat. Whereas if I disable this, it now doesn't matter what I put in there, it will not change. Item drops enable and disable just affects whether things drop when you destroy an item. For example, that. And if you drop something, it's instantly destroyed. This is a lot cleaner for if you're doing creative or you just don't want a lot of drops. Block item ID settings is a strange sub-menu and it brings up these options and for the most part I'm not actually sure what they do. I can't seem to find any changes in what they do apart from dump ID map now. And When you click this it produces a .txt file which has a list of all the item and block IDs. The TC research value shown or hidden refers to the Thaumcraft research and this is the value it has when you use it res by researching it in a quasitum. And as you can see here, it has bricks have a research value of 3, but if you're not using Thaumcraft, then you don't need that and it just bogs it down. Do also note that you can always see the EMC value of an item and whether it has an EMC value or not. For example, monster spawners don't but almost all conventional blocks do. And then the final option is the TC smelting value. And this is simply the amount of V produced when the item is thrown into a crucible. And it shows the total value of V and taint, depending on which crucible you use, which affects how they're separated. You also have controls options which allow you to change the buttons you need to press to get recipes, usage, the next or previous recipe, that's backspace, access the enchantment, next and previous pages, and of course turning the entire thing on and off. And if you press O, it removes it all including the options. It's as if the mod is not on at all. The next thing is item subsets and this you can left click and it allows you to change which items are on show here. So as you can see there are 18 pages and a majority of these are filled up by micro blocks. And it shows every single thing, every different version of each tool, each different thing that you can make and it can really clog your inventory and as this is primarily used for recipes unless you're using the cheat mode to create things you generally only need the recipe for one thing the recipe for that uses orange wool whereas the recipe for that uses white wool and as the recipe doesn't change apart from wool color you only need one to show you how to actually make it and the way to slim this down is you left click on item subsets and it allows you to go down and you can right click on each of these things to remove it from the menu. If I right click on stone, as you can see stone has now vanished from the menu. Get rid of all mob spawners, go down, get rid of all vanilla, and only selected mods have the option for very specific things in here. As you can see there's no build craft or thelm craft. Instead, they're just in blocks, which shows every single block in the game. Or items, which shows all the items. It takes about half an hour to go through and get rid of everything you don't need. And it reduces it to about four pages. 
Of course, the number of items shown here is affected by your GUI scale. Unfortunately, there are still bugs with this. I've removed the link book spawner, but it does keep coming back. Once you've removed what you want removed, there is a way to save the settings you have for this. And for this, you right-click item subsets, and it brings up, like over here, seven save slots. And these, again, could be renamed by right-clicking them. These allow you to choose your optimum loadouts. For example, I have two recipe, which shows only the things that you can actually have a recipe of, and all, so that I don't need to go in and re-enable something if I need to get something from vanilla, or something that I can't make directly. And finally, there is the search bar at the bottom. And, as I showed before, if you search for something, it only shows things that have those letters in that order. So, that this contains HI. It allows you to find something such as the Quasitum. You don't need to type in the whole thing, you just put enough to reduce it to about a line. And if you've reduced the number of things on it, it makes it even easier. If you have a search, you can right-click, and it instantly clears the search bar. Another couple of little tricks with this is you can replace any letter with the question mark, and it'll show you all the options to do with that. So there, that can be block, as shown there, or black, as shown there. Another little trick that I'm not too confident on is you put at and then you can refine the search according to the item subsets. There is a tools section in here. So it is now showing me everything I have enabled from this subsection. So I could replace that with that and it only shows me things from the industrial craft option. And this allows you to find things from here without having to go through and remove everything else. Thank you for watching. If you have any requests, please send me a YouTube mail or comment, and I shall endeavour to take a crack at it. Catch you later.